Hey, what's up guys? It's Aaron. I just got a new microphone. It's a little Rode mic. It's always windy here, so I thought I would try this thing out. So let me um, unbox it, hook it up, and we'll see if it makes a difference in the wind. So here's what's in the box. We've got the hot shoe mount a cable and this is actually a lot bigger than I expected it to be let me um, take the fuzzy thing off real quick yeah so here's the actual mic not that big but it's what expect what I expected this thing is probably about the size of a racquetball, maybe a tennis ball. So let's put it on and uh, see how it sounds. So here it is mounted. The shock mount, it leans forward quite a bit with the weight of the mic. And if we put that on there, it leans down even further. I'm using my other little camera for this, so hopefully the wind isn't getting it. So let's try this thing out. So I might be a little backlit over here. We've got wind out of the south and the camera is facing directly into the wind. And the mic is on, but I don't have it plugged in. So next I will plug it in and see if there's a difference. All right, so this is the mic without the windscreen. I'm still facing, the camera's facing the wind. Um, Something occurred to me, if you're standing behind the camera, since it's a shotgun mic, it really shouldn't pick it up. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that out too. Let me put this thing on and we'll see how much of a difference it makes. All right, now we've got the rabbit tail on it. Test one, two. I don't know if it's any better. The wind kind of calmed down as soon as I put it on there. <laughs> <laughs> because that's how it goes oh there we go that's a lot of wind hopefully this solves the problem so let's flip it around we'll see uh, I'm right behind the camera right now actually my mouth is about four inches behind the microphone we'll turn it into the wind you can see my beautiful chain link fence. There's a pond somewhere over there. But I don't even know if this thing will pick up most of my voice right now. So I guess I'll go listen to it and then I'll give you my final verdict. One thing that does kind of worry me is how far forward this thing leans. I might have to move it back a little bit to kind of balance the weight. Uh, but I guess we'll see. So I'm going to take just a minute. I actually got another toy. It's a little magnetic mount made by Nootl, N-O-O-T-L-E, and it's a pretty strong magnet. I don't think it would hold an SLR, but it'll hold my little, um, my little power shot that I use sometimes. Scared the cat. <laughs> actually pretty hard to take off. It's got a swivel head. Let me put the camera on it and we'll check it out. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I was thinking I could um, magnetically mount it to something on the tractor or one of these things in the, in the patio cover or the shop wall or something like that. And you heard it clang. It's a pretty strong magnet. It's actually pretty, pretty tough to take off of there. The problem I see with this is if you've got your camera on the thing, it might be a little difficult to take it off without uh, 
breaking your camera. So I just thought that thing was pretty cool. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that, uh, which is pretty reasonable for something like this. If I had a GoPro, it would be even more useful. So I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. There were other versions that uh, took batteries, and this one is supposed to work on the power provided by the camera. I, it's kind of like phantom power for a studio mic, but not exactly. Uh, but it's just a small amount. So I like it. I think it's pretty good. I could definitely tell a difference when I put the uh, little fuzzy thing on the mic and it looks really cute bouncing around on the shock mount. <laughs> so I think for what I spent for this, I don't remember exactly, I'll flash it up on the video, I'll have to go back and look at my Amazon cart, but I think it was the cheapest road mic that they offer. Right now we're probably getting gusts around, I don't know, 15 to 20, maybe 25 and the thing's just bouncing all over the place. But I think for what I spent, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. If you have one of these, if you have a different Rode mic, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.